Rob Ellis is the head coach of the Kamloops Broncos. Howie Zarin, head coach of the Langley Rams, as these two get set to meet to wrap up the regular season. And uh, let's look back, as we always do, before we look ahead. And, Howie, let's start with you. Uh, Big-time victory for your club over the Valley Huskers. Break down that performance for me. Uh, you know, I thought the boys played really well. I think um, they had a lot of motivation to go out there and uh, and to beat that team. Um you know, they were excited about the task. So, you know, um, they went out there and did their thing. And I know we took a little bit of heat for it, but, you know, we're used to taking heat by now. So we're all right. Um, we'll, we'll get back to that, Howie. But let's first go to Rob. Um, Rob, you're no heat obviously. whatsoever. <laughs> no heat coming <laughs> on you guys. Okay. Hey, um, hey, just, hey, coach, coach, just so you know, that kid who scored the touchdown late against you guys hasn't played another down of football since. <laughs> You know I got it's, nothing but love for you. You know that. <laughs> well, I know. I, I just know that at the time you were heated, and I totally un, I totally understood it and respected it. I'm just telling you, he yeah. hasn't played a down of football since. Uh, thanks, Alex. Yeah. Uh, Rob, let's start with you. Um, what's what's your mindset and, and, and your team's mindset as you head into Week 10 right now? Oh, I'd like to talk to the scheduler, whoever that was, but, you know, um, – <laughs> It is what it is. We, you know, we struggled through last year. We're struggling through this year. Young team. It's the same same thing I've been saying the whole year. <clears throat> we, uh, you know, had minus 11 uh, yards on offense the first time we played the Rebels, and I think we had 260 last time we played. We just couldn't finish. I think it's been a constant theme for us. Uh, uh, and we're no, we're up, we're up against a juggernaut this week, and uh, we just, you know, but the kids want to play. They love the game, and uh, they they're, they're they're warriors, and they want to play. Hmm. Howie, you talk about taking some heat, and yeah, I was reading uh, actually just before we hopped on here, was reading the uh, the article in the um, the Chilliwack local newspaper there about the the game and the incident and all the uh, extracurricular activity going on there. Um, do you try and go the hard line and and ignore the noise and tell you guys to focus, or do you let a little bit of that start to feed into it and say, you know, hey, say hello to the bad guys? Well, I think for the most part. Um... You know, everybody's been taking shots at us all year. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, some of them are out of malice, but also some of them are just, you know, out of just having a little bit of fun with it, which we're all right with. But, I mean, as far as Chilliwack goes, um, I'm not going to explain to anybody besides the two teams of what happened in the controlled scrimmage. But uh, let's just say our boys were very motivated to go to Chilliwack and play their best game for four quarters. Um, Rob, what was your sort of take? I don't know if you, you saw any of the stuff there or anything that, uh, you know, went down at the end of that game uh, with the Valley Huskers, but I know your club's been there too on, on the wrong end of those scores. What, what's the perspective from your side on, on, you know, those late games? I mean, what are you supposed to do or is there a right thing to do? You know, it's, it's a passionate game. You, you, you know, the, the story of it goes that, you know, if you don't have passion, you shouldn't be playing this game. And so, Every game that we played, every game that Howie's played has been heated. It's been it's because the guys are warriors. They're out there fighting, and uh, and uh, I I show no malice to any team that wants to kick our ass because they if they kick our ass they they deserve it. They're well. Let's let's face it. Langley's got probably the, one of the best coaching staffs put together I've ever seen, uh, and one of the best teams. That they're they're a solid franchise. Um, we can only hope to emulate that in the future, but. Um, you know, at the end of the at the end of the day, you still got to play the game and and let the emotions go after the end. Shake hands and come back to fight again. I mean, you, you've got to go let that stuff go, right? Rob, um, the All Stars came out this week, and a guy who I actually just spoke with for an interview not too long ago was on the list. Caden Cook, um, a great young man. Really, uh, really appreciated his outlook and perspective and, and what he's driving for. What have you seen from him this season as, uh, you know, Caden Cook has a career year and is an all-star this year on your defense? No, just, you know, I mean, he's, he's always, uh, you know, play the game no matter what, uh, just to fight through adversity. And uh, he always has a smile on his face. Joking around tonight, he's, uh, the, the guys are, you know, they're, he's a leader out there and and his uh his personality shines through that defense so uh, we're lucky to lucky uh we have him for this game uh after the ejection last week but uh you know he's like all the rest of the players that they love the game they're passionate about the game and uh it's all about playing the game hmm. howie 12 of the 26 uh, all-star spots went to your club i don't think anyone was overly surprised by that um 
any any even internal fanfare guys getting excited about that uh, what kind of conversations did you have this week well i think the guys are obviously excited about it dom um and and so they should be but i mean the excitement is going to be wearing off here pretty quick and uh come sunday anything that's happened before sunday we don't discuss you know we're uh we're focused on the playoffs come Sunday, and uh, that's all we'll be focused on. Mm. Andrew Pokernich, what a season he's having, and he's on the verge of some history, coming off a six-touchdown performance against the Huskers. Uh, he needs um, one rushing touchdown to break the record. He's tied right now with Andrew Harris for the best rushing season in BCFC history, uh, and, and a couple other records, including Canadian records, potentially within his grasp this weekend. Um, Howie, I know that it's week 10. You guys don't have anything really to earn in the standings. How important do you balance those records, chasing that history and needing your guy healthy in the playoffs? Well, I think for sure we're going to go after the one record. That's for sure. Um, After that, I think uh, uh, the conversation I had with Pac is we're going to play it by ear. Um, You know, it's a fine line. Do you want to run them out there and, and have them out there for four quarters? Um, or do you want to rest them? Um, the good news is, is uh, and I can't say this about all the clubs, but the good news is about playing Kamloops is they play the game properly and they play it clean. So we don't have to worry about any monkey business. So uh, I'm, I'm happy for that. But uh, I highly doubt you're going to see Pockernick out there for four quarters, maybe even not even three. Rob, um Obviously, a former Bronco, Andrew Pokernich, um I mean, he's having himself a season. Uh, how do you go about approaching trying to stop a guy like him? And, and, and what do you say about, you know, some of the history that he's chasing here? No, I mean, I think he owes all the success to his former running back coach last year. I just thought, you know, I'd throw that in. Um, let's face it. Was that, was, that, was, was that Coach Amoka? Uh, oh, hey, who coached you, Howie? Come on. Oh, hey, you're, now you're aging yourself, Coach. <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, let's face it. Uh, Pac isn't the only one on that uh, offense that we have to be worried about. They're, they're just an all-around talented team, a complete team. Um, but it's saying that the, the guys love a challenge, right? I mean, you throw anything in front of them. Uh, Pac's going to run the ball. We know that. Uh, our front seven have got to work real hard to, uh, to slow him down, and they're up to the challenge. Uh, um, but it makes the game even more exciting to play, right? I think uh, – that's what they're looking forward to. And, uh, you know, Pac was one of them last year. They're still brothers. They're still brothers. Yeah. They still love each other. And, uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's a game. So uh, that's the, they want to play the game and, and uh, try to keep him in check as much as they can. Gentlemen, I appreciate your time. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Dom. Thanks, Howie. Thanks, Dom. See you, see you soon, Coach. You bet. See you, Coach. Okay, thanks, guys.